And for this week's special guest here on Live Local and Loud, I'm chatting to Dave from new R&B soul band on the block with silky smooth vocals, Aphrodite. Hello, Dave. Thanks for spending the time to chat with me. How the devil are you today? I see what it's all coming. How are you? I'm awesome today. Thank you very much. Now, um, you're the bassist of the band, Aphrodite. Um, yeah. Could you just put us in the picture? You're a newish band. Can you just tell us how, why, and when did you get together? Um, so back in the last year, me and Sim have kind of known each other through music for a few years anyway. Um, she dropped me a message just asking if I played bass at all, which at the time I didn't. Um but I played electric guitar, so it's kind of an easier transition. So I just got by a cheap last, one. By last year, though, you mean 2021? Was this during lockdown then? Um, right. No, it, it, it was it was sort of October. Um, so October last year, and then within six months, we've put together a load of load of originals and recorded, mix mastered, etc. And then yeah, we've got a load on the way. So we've got only uh, now, which is what we've just released which has gone a lot better than expected and wow. yeah we're just re- really happy with it brilliant so you're all friends are you how many how many are in the band um so there's three of us at the moment so there's me ben the drummer and sim who, who's songwriter slash vocalist extraordinaire um and yeah we've, we've we're, we're in the process of pushing out as much as we can in the next year just to try and keep on the uh on the bang, bandwagon with all the promo that's gone off with this first track, really. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, she has got silky smooth vocals, doesn't she, Sim? Absolutely. <laughs> she does awesome. indeed. Very, Much very better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do any backing tracks on any of the, on, on the song at all? No, because I think the goal is to gain followers and, and fans, do you know what I mean? <laughs> if I do that, I might isolate us a little bit. So I think for oh. now, we'll, we'll hold on me just being on bass for a bit. Right. <laughs> Okay, until the point, perhaps when you get too many fans and you want to trim a few off, then you might take take up the vote. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's a plan for the future. It's one to pull out the trump bag, isn't it? <laughs> now, you say you're a, a three-piece band, um, but I've noticed your Facebook photograph has got four sort of faces silhouetted along the top. What's that about? Are you hoping for somebody else to join? Um, the, the short version is we had uh, a guitarist originally that was part of the recording process and he's credited in the songs and stuff but um there was creative differences where he's ended up leaving so at the moment we're a three-piece but we're in the process of looking for a a, a talented guitarist that's going to be able to sort of add to the band so at the moment we're just sticking with what we've got until the right person comes along for that really and which one of the silhouetted faces are you Uh, i'm the one with a hat on (laughs) Ah, i see brilliant brilliant nice one um how is the music made? Is, is is Sim the main writer or do you all write the, the music together or what? Pretty much 90% of the songwriting is done by Sim. Um, so the process we have is we meet up around her house once a week. Um, we have like a, a bit of a bash your heads together to go through stuff that she's come up with. And then we'll, we'll track. I mean, pretty much everything's been tracked and recorded in her bedroom. So you probably wouldn't be able to tell, especially from her vocals, but yeah, so we've, wow. it, me and Ben add what we need to onto the tracks because obviously she'll have a rough idea and then we kind of stick up, I stick a bass line on it, Ben sticks some proper drums on it and then we kind of listen back to it and go through if there's anything we want to tweak or, or change kind of thing. Aphrodite, I think that's an absolutely great name. It's spelt A-F for Freddy, R-O-D-I-T-E. Now, I'm pretty sure I can guess where it came from, but would you like to tell us? What, why is it called Aphrodite? <laughs> so, so Sim, um, when, she, when she has her hair in full flow, does have very full volume hair, um, which is where the Afro bit comes from. As much as I'd love to claim it was me, I don't think I could pull the look off, to be honest. But um, <laughs> yeah, so, so it comes that, from that yeah. pretty much. Brilliant. And of course, Aphrodite is uh, the Greek goddess of love, I think, isn't it? Yeah, which is quite fitting for a lot of the um, a lot of the lyrics in the, the songs that we're doing, really, because most of them are, are very kind of love orientated, as you find in R&B a lot of the time anyway. Mm, excellent. OK, well, let's play Only You. But for, before we do, could you tell us a little bit about it? Only You, who's it referring to? How did it come about? What's the inspiration for it? So Sim pretty much wrote this about her partner um pagan who's she also did the artwork for the for the song and does the artwork for pretty much all of our stuff um so the the kind of 
vibe of the song is that she's on the phone just professing her love to her, really. So that's that's pretty much what the song's about. Wow. So here's Only You by Aphrodite. Hello? That was Only You by Aphrodite here on Live Local and Loud. And today I'm chatting to Dave from the band, who's the bassist, no less. So, Dave, you've been referring to other songs. Have you got a back catalogue of stuff that you're going to release? Yeah, so we've got quite a few songs ready and waiting. We're just getting the mix and masters and stuff in the background while this is uh, while we're promoting Only You. Um, so the next one we've got coming out is Emotions, which we're bringing out. I believe middle to end of next month. Oh. So back in middle to back end of May, um, which, yeah, we're looking forward to that getting released as well. Cause we've got a lot of good feedback off people we've shown it to already. Um, mm. And given how well the our debut single went, I think we're uh, excited to see how all of them sort of get received, if that makes sense. Excellent. Well, I look forward to that. So you sound quite organized then. Have you got uh, a plan for more release dates or gig dates or anything? 
Yeah, I mean, from get from a gigging point of view, we're pretty much focusing on the sort of releasing and the tracks and, and promotion and stuff. Because from our point of view, if you can build up enough of a following just from doing that kind of stuff, once we go to do gigs, we'll, we'll have a, a market for it. Do you know mm. what I mean? And we won't just be playing to to friends and family. Um, so yeah, so we've 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 put together a full kind of plan for what we want to do, and we've got a lot of backgrounds. I mean, I used to work in sales and marketing and stuff as well so we just kind of utilize all our skills from normal jobs putting it in treating it like a business if that if that makes right. sense pretty much yeah it sounds great so have you got dates to any of these things D- dates when you should have your first gig by i think we're trying to aim to have all, all of the tracks released for this record that we're going to put out by sort of back end of the summer um so i'd imagine late 2022 we potentially have some gigs lined up um but it's one of those where I think if you're going to keep an eye out for it, it'll be very much follow us on socials and just keep up for updates on that, really. Right. That sounds like a good plan, actually, because I think most bands are busy doing their live performances in the summer with the festivals and stuff. And then yeah. they start recording at the end of summer, don't they, into winter, whereas you're going to do exactly. the opposite. So usually there's a lull, a bit of a lull in gigs and stuff. So while there's a lull, you're going to come up there and clean up, Take basically. Advantage. Yeah, <laughs> no, exactly. Yeah, we've got to have a plan, haven't you? yeah absolutely that sounds great so who is it so is it's you that um that has the plan is it you say right we're doing this by such and such a date and all that or do you just all get together to be fair we do it as, as kind of a group decision but um in terms of like the planning and researching and stuff we all kind of delegate who's doing what and then we kind of come together and sort of feedback what we've learned we've mm. got shared spreadsheets that kind of stuff proper boring oh. businessy type things but it, if you if you want to do well with stuff you've got to put do it properly kind of thing right haven't you yeah exactly you've got to treat it seriously have any of you played live before then oh yeah i think we've all played live multiple times i mean um sim's done some solo stuff she's been oh. i mean she's been in the industry for donkey's years and ben plays a lot of cover cover gigs and stuff over where he lives towards Northamptonshire. Um I've I've played gigs here, there and everywhere with different bands and stuff over the years, but I think it's just consistently playing and, and pushing this as much as we can. Hopefully we'll be able to do some kind of tour at some point as well, which would be nice. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, so you're all quite accomplished performers then. Okay. Yeah. In your in your perfect gig then, who would you be supporting or who would you have supporting you? Um, well, I think because in terms of the, the industry and like the genre that we're in, there's a lot of different R&B solo artists, but there's not that many kind of R&B bands. So, I mean, we we take being on the bill for any bigger bigger R&B artist, but I think the internet are a big um, influence in terms of sim songwriting and the style of the band that we've gone for. So. If we could support them on a tour, I'm, I'm sure we'd slap their hands off, really. Oh, the internet, the actual band called the internet. Yeah, sorry, oh, I should right. have probably cleared that up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that sounds good. Okay, um, so presu- but presumably you prefer to, uh, live gig-wise, you prefer to dominate Leicester first, set up a scene here and then travel around the country, do you? Yeah, I mean, we're... Obviously, we're trying to go global as well in terms of we're reaching out to people in America because R&B is massive over there. Um, mm. But yeah, by, by means, if we can build up a following locally and stuff, it's a good way to, to sort of go about things, isn't it? How can people follow you, Dave? Um, so you can find us pretty much on every social platform as Aphrodite Official Band. Um, you shouldn't be able to miss us. We've got a big yellow, big yellow logo with Aphrodite on it. Um, Don't forget Aphrodite is yeah. being spelled A-F for Freddy, R-O-D-I-T-E. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, I probably should have mentioned that as well, to be fair. <laughs> and that's um, mainly but, on Facebook, is it? Well, to be fair, the, we put everything on Facebook, Insta and Twitter as well. Um, but in terms of where we where we've posted everything, it's, we'd put it on as many platforms as possible because... That way you're getting as many people as possible. So when did you say your next single's coming out? What's the exact date? I'll put it in my diary. I'm, I'm probably going to get butchered for this, but I believe it's the 19th of May. <laughs> 19th of May. Excellent. Well, do send us a copy and we'll play it here on Live Local and Loud. No, definitely. Sounds good. Thanks for having me as well. Thank you very much, Dave. There ain't nobody else, baby. Only you. Only you. Oh. 